certified most accurate forecast from WMBF First Alert Meteorologist Andrew Dockery. All right, 610, it's Friday, so as we look toward the weekend, I do want to give you a look at the tropics here. Tropical update, some good news, no chance of development. You might be thinking, then why are we talking about it? Just to kind of ease your mind, but also NOAA released an outlook yesterday, an updated outlook, and they've increased all the numbers in hurricane season for named storms, hurricanes, and even major hurricanes. Now the forecast calling for normal are above normal as we head into it. Remember, we've only had five storms that have been named. We had one unnamed storm and then four actual named there. And uh, just to tell you, I think the end of August and September going to be pretty active. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Of course, you're heading out the door. Not much happening right now. It's a lovely start to the day. How about everything looking beautiful? You'll notice the sunrise. Not even a cloud out there over the Atlantic. And as we go throughout the morning, temperatures in the 70s will eventually get into the 80s around 10. Average high 87. The record 95. We'll get it 90 today, but still fall pretty short of that. Clouds begin to build in, and eventually those clouds give way to some showers and storms that come into the forecast for the evening. The morning, you're fine. If you need to get out, you have a beach day plan, you're going to the pool, no worries. But by the time we get into the afternoon, say around the start of happy hour, check the radar because we'll start to look at showers and storms roll again and closer to 6, even 7 p.m. Some of these storms could be on the strong side as they move through the region. So we'll keep an eye on that level one severe weather risk. In fact, take a look at it. It's not a level two and I don't think we're talking really much severe weather, but with heat and humidity, a strong storm can't be ruled out. Speaking of heat and humidity, we think today is bad. Get ready. Today is actually pretty tolerable when you look beyond today's forecast and into the weekend. Here we come back with the heat and humidity. I'll be honest with you, mm -hmm. probably and could be our warmest heat that we've seen. Hottest heat, I guess you could say, uh, for the upcoming weekend and next week. Yeah, I'm kind of happy I'm not going to be here for that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at how the weekend is going to be looking. We are going to be building in a lot of heat and humidity. We are going to be under a high pressure system. We'll have a south wind that's going to continue to push up that heat and humidity to the very miserable category. As we take a look at this weekend, though, rain chances, they'll stay slim to none. So if you do get caught in them, they'll probably just cool you down across the Grand Strand temperatures in the low 90s, 92 degrees by Sunday. And then though it'll climb to the mid 90s, 94 for Saturday. Saturday, Sunday sitting at 97 so it will be quite warm and that heat index it's going to be very miserable today will be the best day to get outside and enjoy any outdoor activities will be almost two triple digits 100 for some areas but once Saturday and Sunday come along that's when we're going to start to bump it up to around 105 Sunday almost to 110 and it won't let up for just a little bit.